What's going on y'all? You guys are watching Bucks Ammo and Arrows and this is another YCF Airboats production Young's Custom Fabrications. You can find me on social media Facebook Travis Young Young's Custom Fabrications Instagram official Bucks Ammo and Arrows but today we are getting started on the new build this is a 540 straight valve the guy that this boat belongs to he hunts out of it we're gonna build him nothing fancy just a straight clean simple rigging if you guys haven't noticed or seen the end of the last video of the LS build we are in the shop guys no more driveway no more rain holding us up coating on the roof to help keep it cool in here and it's really not that bad in here at all it's very very tolerable built this new engine puller no more cherry picker unless we're getting something out of a car or lifting something off the ground i'm gonna get this old motor stand and motor out of the hall pull the hall out of here get the motor off the motor stand got my jig already made for his stringers this is the first time i've had a boat that i've had to build for a 28 inch stringers so i had to make a new jig i have a 36 for fiberglass and i have a 40 and 42 for aluminum this is an old Hammett hull. It's an old aluminum hull. It's one of the OG Hammets. But before we do that, I'm gonna take you guys a step back in time when this boat first arrived. So let's check it out. We got a Hammett with a 540 on it. And we have to completely tear this whole thing apart, pull the motor off of it, all the rigging out of it, because it is shot, you guys. Like we got brakes um we got stitches we got holes we can read newspapers through and it's just all over the place there's another one uh that's beautiful we got zach the mac over there oh I can't show you too much of this till you see that video all right y'all we got the cage cut off all right y'all me and the boys got the seat stand out we are gonna leave the motor stand together but we're gonna unbolt it hoist it out of here and set it on the ground that way the motors up in the air I got to take the prop off the engine I gotta disconnect the exhaust. Still a few more things. Y'all would not believe the stuff we have cleaned out of this hall. I don't know if this hall has ever been this clean probably since this guy owned it. Um, he does say he works six to six and he uses the boat for hunting. See that one stud right there that's got the prop bolt in it? I cannot get this prop off because that stud in the back is just spinning. I need to get this prop off because it'd make it so easier walking around it. I'm working on it, so I'm going to try to get a pair of ice clamps on the back of that thing or something to try to stop it from turning and maybe I can back that bolt out. But I got my engine leveler on. If any of you guys build your own or want to build your own motor stands, you need to get one of these. Super cheap and they work amazing. So... Um, I'm gonna get a chain hoist, but right now I'm using a come along, so I'm gonna try to get that nut off. <clears throat> Alright y'all, I got the prop off. What a pain in the butt. Put the stud in this particular hole, put the wrong stud in it. It was too long, and I had to heat. I put vice clamps on it. I put the impact on it. I worked forever to get that thing off, but I finally got it off. I've got the rest of the motor stand off. I've got his new mounts on. These are from Panther. And you wanna get these nice and tight, all of your mounts before you start building your stand. You don't want nothing loose. So these are nice and tight. So we are going to get the jig under this thing, get the plumb bobs hanging, get it level, find our center, and start building. All right, you guys, this is where I'm at with it right now. 
You can see that plumb bob is dead on its center. I gotta complete the diafocal rounded bar in the top, my X braces, a brace in the back, and like I did on the four cylinder, I'm gonna run here, one from here to the back bar back there. But I've never done a diafocal mount before, so it's my first one, and I'm kind of mimicking the old stand. See how that was, how it came up from the back to the mount, to the mount, and then from the bend in the center by the mags and came down off of it. And I'm still gonna put my brace in here that I haven't done yet, but it's all plumb bobbed. Everything's looking perfect and everything's leveled. I got my mini level there on top of the thing. I moved the oil cooler out earlier and put a one foot level on there and it was still the same, so. All right, you guys, it's all done, except for welding on the back sides. All the welds on the outsides are done. Again, this is my first diafocal mount motor stand, so I really, if you look at this, I replicated exactly how this one was. Um, here, let me set it up for you. All right, my snap didn't fix the back end but because it's got nothing to hold it but you see it this is a hammett original diafocal mount again i i've seen plenty of boats that still got the same setup my uncle's boat he just had built a year ago has the same type setup so it's what i ran with um again take a good look and then we walk over here same thing except for I used these mounts here um, they didn't put this brace in which I think it's smart to so this isn't floating I feel it makes it a lot stronger especially this guy's gonna be doing a lot of woods hunting and rough running he says he's really rough on his boat so I mean hey one day motor stands just about done tomorrow i can weld the back sides i'll pull the motor off of my hoist lift thing and uh knock it out it's been a long day you guys like the sun's already gone and it's dusk so that's what we got for today Nice curvature. Oh, and it's supported. There's nothing holding it. It is supported on its own weight. It is strong and stout, even though it's not fully all welded up. Just a quick recap. <clears throat> Just a quick recap, guys. My floor is really leveled now since I have a concrete poured slab. Um, so there was no shimming the jig required. I leveled it side to side and front to back on both sides. Get engine leveler, make sure your engine's level. Then if you find a nice straight part on the motor, which on this there's nothing really straight. So I had to use the oil pan down here. I put a torpedo level side to side on the oil pan to make sure the engine was level this way um, you know leveled this way and it's leveled this way and my jigs level plumb bobs are level and hanging center you want to hang it center on the rear of the engine and one on the center on the front of the engine to a center in the middle of your jig and you want to put your motor mounts on there nice and tight on wherever motor mounts you got and build up to it. I try to give you this information every video, but there's so many people asking on Facebook and stuff all the time, and I'm tagging my videos so people can learn and hopefully be able to do it themselves. So, that is gonna end it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Remember, as always, you guys are watching Bucks, Ammo, and Arrows. This is another YCF Airboats Production, Young's Custom Fabrications. That's what it stands for, YCF, Young's Custom Fabrications. So, 
Not much being said, this ends part one of the 540 diafocal hunt boat conduit, whatever you want to call this build I'm doing. Anyways, remember, I love you, Jesus loves you, and until next time, guys, see ya!